Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're covering a beginner's guide to Microsoft Visio Professional 2024. Before we jump into that, if you're interested in purchasing Visio 2024, Microsoft Project, Office 2024, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll leave those links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. One final note, we are not covering the installation in this video. If you guys wanna see the install video, we've just released that for this version of video. You can watch that up here. Okay, I'll see you guys on the computer. All right guys, so this is what it's gonna look like as soon as you open Visio 2024. It may look a little lighter or darker depending on your computer theme and your office theme. But generally speaking, we have a basic diagram or a blank drawing at the very top. If we scroll down a little bit, we have a variety of different office templates that we could choose from. For example, if we're doing something that involves a floor plan, we have templates for this. Or if we're doing some kind of basic flowchart, again, we have a template for that as well. Now, since we wanted to cover a beginner's guide, we are gonna start on a blank drawing. So let's go ahead and click in. Here we can choose between metric or US units. And of course we're in the US, so we'll hit create. Now, once we're brought to this page, this should look somewhat familiar if you're already a frequent Office user. At the top, we have a navigation system very familiar to Office and that's gonna be the tabs, ribbons, and groups. So as we can see, we have a file tab. This is gonna be where most of our general settings are located, and we can access templates here anytime as well. To the right of the file tab, we'll find home, insert, draw, design, data, process, review, view, and help. Help tab is gonna give us instant links to contact, support, and feedback. Starting on the home tab, this is where most of our work is going to be done. Underneath the tab, we have what's called a ribbon. This is a general layout of tools and they're grouped into similar categories, separated by these lines here. We have our cut, copy, and paste clipboard. We've got our text adjustments here, line and spacing adjustments, and so on. From the insert tab, we'll be able to insert things like icons or pictures. And as I click through each tab, again, we're just going to find well-organized tools that we could use to help us build our document. Similar to Word, we have a review tab where we could check our grammar and spelling. The first thing we might be interested in once we get in is changing some of the settings about our page itself. From the view tab here, we can show or hide the ruler and grid. And I'm going to elect to use the grid on now so I can make some more precise drawings. We can find more settings underneath the design tab. Here we can change our orientation from portrait to landscape or landscape to portrait. We could also choose some standard paper sizes or we could even get a custom size by hitting more page sizes and typing our own defined dimensions. Once we have our sheet how we would like it, we can actually go ahead and start placing on our sheet. The most common three things that we're gonna be using in a Visio drawing are shapes, connectors, and text. Now we have a little navigation pane over here where we can actually just go ahead and browse through all the different types of shapes. The most common are gonna be general basic shapes, and we can use these to create a basic flowchart, for example. We can also search for any shape that we would like if we have a specific shape in mind. Pretty easy to get started. I'm gonna find a topic that I would like to go ahead and start my drawing within. And that's going to contain most of the shapes that I need. I'm going to start with a basic text box from the blocks section here. And I'm going to follow that with a diamond followed by a circle. And then we're going to add another box here. We could use the different shapes if we would like to symbolize different categories of text. For example, if it's a process or a decision. If we go up towards the home tab, there's a tool next to the pointer tool. And this would allow us to do freeform drawings or shapes. I could hit the pencil arc freeform or line tool. And I can make any custom shape that I want. Once we have our shapes in place, let's go ahead and try out this connector tool. As we can see, it highlights the different points of a shape. I could grab this bottom one here and just simply drag it to the text. And I could also go around and grab another point of this square like so, all right? And then I could continue down the line here. Maybe I want this circle to lead into this square, just like that. One of the cool things about Visio is that we have a lot of control over these connections. For example, I could click and drag, let's say I wanna bring this out. With the pointer tool selected, I can hold control over any part of any shape to add a connector. Now, if we wanna manage the actual connection points themselves, there's a tool for that just to the right here, which is symbolized as an X. With this selected, I could press and hit control on any of my shapes to add a connection point. You can see we've added one here. I'm gonna go ahead and add a few more uh, on various points of the shapes. You can see they're highlighted in this red color. Going back into the connector tool, I now have these additional points that I can connect from. If we have a shape that we actually wanna repeat throughout our drawing, we can easily save that by selecting it. So I'll go to the pointer tool and I'll select my shape here. 
and inside of more shapes, I can hit new stencil. Again, we'll go to US units. And then I'm gonna click and drag and select this entire thing and I'll drag it into my new stencil. Now, anywhere I want this on the document, I can simply click and drag and I can get several of them in just the click of a button. If we wanna assign this a name, we can just right click here and we can hit save as. Now we can save this as a Visio project file and name it whatever we'd like. You can also rename the actual shape itself by right clicking. Next up, let's go ahead and talk through some things that we can do with text. There are a few ways in which I can add text. I can double click into any existing text shape and I can go ahead and add example text through that. And now this text will be associated with this shape and will reflect any changes I make. It will follow along with it. I can also make a text box completely independent from these. If I click and drag with the text thing selected right here, we can then type our text and this can be controlled completely independent of everything else. I could select it and move it around the document without affecting anything. And as of now, again, I have no connections going into it. And by double clicking into this through the home tab, again, we can change our font. We can bold or italic. We can change our color, etc. In addition to what we can change about the text, we can also change aspects of the shape. For example, I could fill this with a specific fill color. I can add a line or change the color of the line. We could also add effects such as glows, edges, or bevels. Again, with the pointer tool from the home tab selected, I can click and drag on any object and I can easily rescale it or rotate it. We notice as we're moving it around, it automatically snaps around the grid lines. If you want a free control, free of the snapping, hold down Alt and then drag it and we have completely independent control. Releasing Alt and again, I'll be able to snap it back into place. Right clicking onto an object will give me the cut, copy and paste controls as well as a few other options. All right, another thing you can do here is go to the insert tab. We have the option here to add pictures, icons, charts, and a few other things as well. Let's show you guys how easy it is to import a picture. So I'll click picture from the import, and I just selected this window drawing from my computer. Now I can easily drag this and move it around the sheet. Now let's say I'm done with this and I'm ready to go ahead and export it. Let's cover some of the options for that. Going back into the file tab that we showed you guys earlier, I can hit save as, and I'll click this PC. Let's go ahead and save it to our desktop for now. And it's gonna save it in a .vsdx format. This is basically a project file and it'll allow us to return to editing at a future time. If it's ready for rendering, we can change the file type here under this dropdown. And we may wanna go with a JPEG or PNG if we wanna go ahead and save it or upload it as a high resolution image. We also have the option to print directly from the software. Under the print tab, we have various print settings. We can add a printer and, and change any of the options here. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about using Visio 2024 Professional, drop those in the comments below, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. As our channel grows, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas to make. If you have any specific video topic ideas that would be helpful for you, we encourage you to drop those in the comments below, as most of these requests get made into actual videos. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. See you guys next time.